doubled it. Question number two, Todd McClay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Finance, how will Budget 2012 support sustainable growth? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, uh, the Budget will invest significantly in priority areas such as infrastructure, skills, uh, innovation and research, as well as health, education and welfare. Uh, these measures show confidence in New Zealand in uncertain times and help build a growing, more competitive economy with more jobs and higher incomes. Todd McClay. Supplementary uh, question. What measures is the government taking to support jobs and grow the economy? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, sustainable jobs, sustainable and new jobs are created only when businesses have the confidence to invest and grow and make the decision to employ people. In the past three years, the government has worked to reduce the tax on work uh, raised taxes on property speculation and improved regulations to reduce costs for businesses. If I just give one example, on the 1st of April this year, ACC levies were reduced. That reduction leaves, leaves, 600, leaves $600 million in the pockets of New Zealanders and around $250 million in the pockets of businesses who then have the choice to employ another person or raise wages. Todd McClay. Supplementary. How do New Zealand's public finances compare to those of countries in Europe? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, compared to uh, a number of countries in Europe, uh, New Zealand's public finances are in a great deal better shape. Uh, in Greece and in Ireland, for instance, there are very substantial cuts in public servants' pay, substantial cuts in entitlements uh, and in the size of the public service. Uh, even closer to home, Australia has just announced its largest fiscal contraction ever in its last budget. Uh, the State of Victoria announced uh, just uh, last week 4,000 redundancies in its public service. Todd McClay. A supplementary to the Minister. What alternative approaches to managing public finances has he seen? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, there's a, few, a number of uh, confusing alternatives, some of which say that the government should be stimulating the economy more uh, by uh, perhaps not uh, taking control of its spending. Uh, in fact, in the last, last year or two, the government has run quite large deficits to support the economy through a difficult patch. Uh, and the same people who are telling us to stimulate more are then criticising the government for borrowing money. This is a bit confusing. <laughs> Question number three, Hone Harawira. Kia ora, Mr Speaker. Uh, to the Minister of Finance, what are the government's fiscal policies doing to stop the loss of New Zealanders to Australia, which has now hit an 11-year high? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, the uh, government's...